This is every ATM owner's nightmare. You wake up in the middle of the night to a phone call saying that your machine was stolen. Luckily for you guys, I created this video to show you exactly how to prevent your ATM from getting stolen. And as an ATM owner myself, I'm actually terrified if this were to happen to one of my machines. And I mean, let's face it, I'm not a millionaire yet. So I need to make sure that every single dollar is as safe and secure as possible. So I mean, there's only so much that you guys can do to actually prevent the machine from getting ripped out of the ground. If a thief really wanted your machine gone, they would do anything possible to rip that machine out and take it away. Now I've seen videos of trucks, forklifts, bulldozers being used to actually steal machines. So it doesn't matter what kind of enclosure you guys buy, your machine still is at risk. But once your machine is stolen, how do you actually maximize your chances of recovering the machine and the cash? This can be done with this DeWalt GPS tracker. This device is actually mounted to the inside of your ATM machine. And it actually has a variety of different sensors so it can actually detect tilt, movement, uh, tampering, uh, temperature changes, low battery, and a few other things as well. So if your machine is ever messed with whatsoever, you will actually get a text notification, you'll get an email, or you can also sign up and you can do phone calls as well. So once your machine is tampered, it will actually play some beeping sound. It's a really, really loud beeping sound. And that may or may not scare the attackers away. So having that GPS device inside is essential for this piece of equipment right here. So this is how it works. All you have to do is plug it in and stick it to the side of your ATM machine and then close the door. Now you actually have to sign into Portal Online and you have to enable or disable all of the settings that you want or don't want. So for example purposes, I want you guys to use your imagination. Pretend that your machine was ripped out of the ground and is currently being pulled somewhere so that the robbers can break into the machine and steal the cash from the inside. This is the scenario. 150 robbers break into the store. 151 machine is hooked up to the back of a pickup truck. 153 machine ripped out of the ground and being pulled by pickup truck. 153 you receive a phone call saying that your machine has been tampered with. 155 dial 911 to inform law enforcement. 911 what's your emergency? 157 GPS is tracked. 158 police en route. 202 police arrive on scene of GPS. 203 suspects detained. 204 ATM and cash recovered. Now in the scenario that I just gave you guys, I gave 13 minutes for the robbers to break in, hook the ATM up, steal the ATM, break into the ATM and actually get away with the cash. Now, unless they have some kind of commercial size plasma cutter or they know the exact right spot to actually drill the machine to open it up, there's no way they're gonna be able to do all of that in 13 minutes. This is a pretty realistic scenario, but there still could be some things that go wrong, such as a communication error or some kind of human error when, you know, calling the police or something like that. But since you do have the GPS and you have the exact location of the machine, you know, some things could go wrong. Maybe the robbers get sloppy. Maybe they don't have gloves, so they left fingerprints on your machine. Since you have the exact location of your machine, the cops will come, they'll do some dusting, get some fingerprints. Maybe the cops, you know, check the surrounding footage of that area and maybe they grabbed a license plate off of a video or maybe uh, one of the robbers took their mask off when they were, you know, trying to get into the machine. There's a lot of things that the robbers could do wrong and this GPS tracker could save you in the long run. But just imagine if someone stole your machine and you didn't have a GPS tracker on the inside. At that point, your only chances of recovering your ATM and the cash for the ATM is based on eyewitnesses and based on security footage. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to leave my chances up to a witness who hangs around at the gas station or at the liquor store at that time. I mean, let's face it, people who hang around those locations aren't the most reliable people. So if you have an ATM machine in a sketchy part of town, or if you have an ATM machine at an event where it's not bolted down, you definitely, definitely, definitely need one of these. I mean, ATM theft is still really, really low, but there's still that slight chance. I mean, it's the same thing with birth control sex. There's a 99% chance she won't get pregnant, but still that 1% chance that she will. That might be a bad analogy, but hopefully you guys get my point. But let you and your wife sleep peacefully at night knowing that your ATM machine is safe. Uh, if you guys want to get one of these, I have a link down in the description below. I appreciate it if you guys use my affiliate link because that's how you can support my channel. So that's all for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.